probably not. Kendall, the rest of the Big 12, uh, dust settling with the the transfer portal and the draft uh, coming back. You know, uh, Kansas gets Kevin McCuller. They also get Jalen Wilson back, which should set them up pretty well uh, to defend their title. But Texas gets Tyrese Hunter. Uh, What do you see happening at the rest of the top of the Big 12? Sure. So I think KU is pretty clearly the number two team on paper. I think Baylor is the best team. I think Lagler entering the season should be the Big 12 preseason player of the year. Really good dominant point guard. I think he'll transitioned well to playing point guard, and quite frankly, he played point guard a lot at the end of last season. When it comes to Kansas, I think they're the number two team on paper. They bring in Grady Dick, who is a McDonald's All-American. Uh, I'm sure people will make some jokes about the name, but he's a very good player. And Baylor really wanted Grady Dick for a while. I know they thought they were going to land him, uh, but he had connections to KU with his family, played at Sunrise Christian, will be a really good player on the perimeter with them. The question for KU, I think, is without Remy Martin, and when he played at the end of the season, your national champions, we didn't play during part of the middle, they weren't as effective. If Dwan Harris has to handle most of the point guard duties, I know they expect Kevin McCuller to spell some of that, and that's part of why McCuller left Texas Tech. I worry a little bit about them, and maybe their offense bogs down like it did two seasons ago with Marcus uh, uh, with Marcus Garrett running the point guard duties for them. When I look at Texas, the still question, I think, Paul and Craig, is what we've asked for the last three years with Chris Beer team. Who's going to shoot the ball, and who's going to shoot it effectively? Marcus Carr, good score. Timmy Allen, good score. A lot of good scorers on that team. But ultimately, you got to make perimeter shots. They went, I think, 3 of 22 in Austin as Baylor won the final game in the drum. You bring in Tyree Tunner, who wasn't a very good three-point shooter in Ames, and you wonder, yet again, can you shoot and make shots at a high level? I think TCU's gotten a lot of respect. Bring all five starters back. Mike Miles might win Big 12 preseason player of the year. as a phenomenal talent. Everybody else likes it to come back. I think that's the most likely team to get into that top two with uh, Baylor and Kansas. But it's possible with them. But I really do think this is a very talented Big 12 but I think KU, and if they get their freshmen playing at an elite level, and Baylor are really the only two national title contenders, as long as we don't have a season like 2014 Connecticut, we're just like, well, nothing mattered, a stupid team won. So that doesn't happen too often. I think the two at the top, once again, are national title contenders. The rest are, hey, Sweet 16's a nice end of the season. Kendall, it's been really weird to see the kind of uh... – uh, interconference trade offs that are going on. I mean, Paul outlined, you know, Kevin McCullough going to Kansas, Tyrese Hunter coming to, to Texas, Jalen Bridges going to Baylor. Do you like that? Does it does it make it more? I mean, I think the transfer portal makes everything more interesting, but do you like seeing schools that play each other so regularly basically trading players? Uh, I don't, Craig, and I know there's some desire that you have to be all the way for like player empowerment at the end, or you have to be all the way for. The game's ruined, and it's not what it was in 1987. And by God, 1987 was the best year of all time. Can we go back to that? You don't have to be that, right? We can moderate our takes some and say, it's nice the players are getting some money, but maybe NIL has gone a little too crazy if we're wondering, are guys only leaving for money? You know, you can say capitalism's good. We need that. That's fine. Uh, but I think some limits on the market are okay. And I think it would be, whether it comes to NIL, and I think especially when you talk about transferring in conference, I'm glad I'm not going to have to, you know, talk to Matt Meyer when he's in Lubbock. Right. Or watch Baylor fans boo Matt Meyer. But for Kevin McCuller to get booed out of his mind when he comes back to Lubbock, I think it's going to be sad. Tyree Tunner, for all he did to get Iowa State to the Sweet 16, is going to get booed tremendously in Ames. I just don't really like that. I wish there were some way to say you can transfer anywhere else. It's not within conference. I don't know. Baylor benefits from Jalen Bridges. I'm sure I'll enjoy covering him. But something feels a little icky about it. Maybe it's just a natural tendency that if you're a little older, you pine for the days of years past. But I do feel a little icky about it, Craig, and I kind of like to see some constraint on it, or at least lessen what's happening so much. What 